Welcome to Cigar Sessions. I'm Dre Brown, your host. And I'm your co-host, Crystal West. And we have a special guest, the beautiful Brandy Jackson with the Brandy Jackson Agency. Thank you. And Brandy, tell us about yourself. Who is Brandy Jackson? Um, Brandy Jackson, um, agency owner and broker. Okay. Um, now published author. I'm getting ready to release my first book as well. Um, you know, Brandy Jackson uh, started... Years ago, I'll say about 10 years ago, I got into the insurance industry. A friend of mine, um, she's been in the industry probably 20 years. Okay. And um, I was just looking for a change in career. Okay. And she said, um, I think you do great. I think you do amazing in this industry. You're already great at what you do. You can take those same skills and apply it to the insurance industry. And guess what? You're helping people. Oh, that's amazing. So, Where are you from? I'm from Houston. I am a native Houstonian. My roots are with Louisiana. My family's from up north Louisiana, but I'm originally from Houston. Texas, Louisiana chick. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Texas, Louisiana chick. Okay, yes. that's amazing. And if it was anything that you were able to tell anyone that's out there, motivation-wise, you know, um, especially young girls, what would it be? What would you tell them? You know, um, if it's hard, do it hard. That's right. And stay consistent. Um, consistency is the key. Um, I know a lot of times when we get up every single day, sometimes we don't feel like it, you know? Yeah, Some days are going. tough. Some days are hard. That's right. But just getting up and constantly being consistent in whatever it is that you want to do. I love it. Um, even if it's just a little bit, a little bit becomes more. That's amazing. That's amazing. Do you have any projects or events coming up that you would like to share with us? Absolutely. Um, so I just accepted a new role um, in my industry. I um, am now going to be teaching a business insurance course uh, with San Jacinto College. OK. Um, I have an apprenticeship uh, with them that I'm going to be a uh, partnership with the school. So any um, college student or any professionals that's looking to get into the insurance industry, I'll be teaching an actual college course on insurance. Oh, girl, you know, I can't wait to say, oh, I know her. <laughs> Brandy Jack, oh, I know her. That's and I'm amazing. also getting ready to release my book as well. I've been working on it for two years. Okay. I started writing it um, during the pandemic. Okay. And um, the book kind of uh, was birthed from um, when I started my independent agency. So I used to be an exclusive agent with another carrier. I did that okay. for almost three years. Okay. Built my book from zero to... About um, a little shy of $5 million in premium. That's good. And I just, I felt like I was in a box. And I wanted to expand. And so um, I couldn't expand with them because they had their niche. They had their rules. The, you know, I was under contract. So Understand. I had to follow their guidelines. And I just kind of wanted to fly like a bird and be free. So um, I took that leap and started my independent agency. And um, it's been history. It's been, oh, yeah. yeah, since Look then. Look at you. Yeah. And so that's how the book got started. You know, when I got into the um, independent world, I didn't um, know a lot and I didn't have a lot of help. So I made a lot of mistakes, okay. a lot of costly mistakes, um, spent money on things that I shouldn't have spent money on. And, you know, I, I made a lot of mistakes in, in just starting the business, you know. And so I took all the principles and everything that I learned and made a step-by-step -step guide for somebody else that's wanted to be independent. Let me tell you, you really caught my attention, especially with the spun money on things that I didn't need to. Can we expect this part in the book? Absolutely. Because look, I'm gonna be like, oh, oh I need to know. Yeah. Um, a lot I, of people want to hear about that. I have two um, really great, amazing best friends and they both are in the ed educational field. And uh, we're at the last part of the That's book. Good. And so um, we've had it edited a few times and they're actually reading it now. Mm -hmm. And I am super honored that they was like, oh, my God, this book is so oh, amazing. Yes. And she, my friend, um, she's getting ready to open up a school. And she said, this is going to be a book that all of my teachers have to read. Oh, yeah. Because it's applicable to any industry. OK. So, uh, Brandy, how long have you been in business now? So my agency has been open for six years. I've been independent now for three years. And what really, really motivated you to go on this path? Um, I'm, I'm all about legacy. When I decided to leave um, my last crazy. career, I was there for 16 years and I just felt like I reached a glass ceiling. 
I couldn't go any further. I was in management. I was I did great. Uh, the money was great, but I wanted more and I didn't feel like I was getting it. It was almost like it was a routine I was getting up to do every single day. So I wanted to do something while I was constantly learning and growing. And I knew I had to take a leap and do something different. So um, that, you know, that's that's kind of, you know, what what made me start the agency. So how did your business sustain during the uh, pandemic? Who? Um, that's a great question. Um, the one thing that I really, really struggle with was the employees because, you know, um, hiring the right people is one of the things that you really have to do in business. But during the pandemic, um, because it was so many people getting ill and things like that, it was tough. So I had to go totally virtual with employees. And okay. as a business owner, trying to train people virtually and trying to get them, you know, coached and developed virtually was a challenge. But as far as business, my business increased about 75% during the pandemic. Oh my God. I'm in an industry where um, you awesome. have to have insurance. It's That's essential. Good. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. That's good. Yep. So I, I was uh, truly blessed that my business was sustainable and it also, um, it just it skyrocketed. Um, we had more business than we had enough people to handle it. So Brandy, are you having a uh, cigar or cigar experience? I'm going to actually have a cigar experience today. I'm not a smoker, but okay, I would love to see you guys <laughs> partake. Oh, yes. Well, I know you said you uh, you like the Cohibas. Yes. So I'm definitely going to get you a Cohiba. Yes. And uh, what would you prefer, a straight cut or a V-cut? V-cut. V-cut. That's so amazing. It's, it's amazing to see because it's an art to this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. It's definitely an art. It's a, uh, it's amazing. It is. And I'm going to be honest, first time with me, it just made me feel super bossy. So absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, it looks, it's a boss move. <laughs> I love it. Mm. Smooth. So I have a question for you as well. Um, are you having a cigar experience or? A cigar. Cigar. <laughs> Real quick, cigar. We're going to have to teach Brandy to cut. Absolutely. So I heard that you it was a straight cut and a V cut. Yeah. Well, there are actually uh, several cuts to cigars. You can actually have a punch. You can have a V cut. You can have a straight cut. And also you can have just a, a side cut. So educate me on the cuts. Um, what are they... What do they do? You know, I, I see the cut is, is it on the end that you, you smoke it on, right? Right. And absolutely. is it, what, what does it, the cut do for you? Oh, uh, it's just, uh, actually it really doesn't do anything. Sometimes I think me personally, I've been smoking about 15 years. So okay. I would say when you cut the cigar off at the end on a regular straight cut, mm -hmm. I think you get more of the taste of the tobacco than you do with a V cut. Yeah. A V cut is probably a little bit. Smoother. smoother it doesn't uh you doesn't pull out as much smoke okay okay and normally see i learn something new every day normally i'll have the little cute ones where you can actually twist off it comes with the tail mm -hmm. and you literally twist it off and can smoke it in. and then it'll come out to be either something similar to the v or either like a little circle because you're just twisting it off so years ago i did smoke a cigar and it was like a flavored one um Maybe like a Tatiana. Maybe or so. Ruby I think that's what it was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, real smooth. It was. It was smooth. Yeah, yeah and it had a, a flavor to it. Most yeah. females, mm -hmm. when they first start smoking cigars, that's one of their uh, go to cigars is the uh, groovy blue Tatiana. Okay. Okay. Man, it's, um, it's all types, huh? Mm -hmm. And I remember yes. it being thin. It wasn't as. It's, it's right. There, that there's, is so, there's, it there's, probably there. had that little twisted tail that probably. I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you guys enjoy. I'm getting an experience. So yeah. we're gonna take a break here and enjoy my cigar. And uh, <laughs> we'll come back to cigar sessions. Hello, my name is Brandy Jackson, owner of the Brandy Jackson Agency, where we provide a broad range of essential insurance types and services to meet your ever-changing needs. Our goal is to find you a comprehensive product or policy for you that is competitively priced. 
We believe that insurance should be personalized for our clients and nothing is more important than the protection of your home, your family, and your business. By working with the Brandy Jackson Agency, you can rest assured that the best interest is always in mind and that your satisfaction is our number one priority. Whether you are renewing your insurance, looking for a lower rate, or more service-oriented agency, you can come to the right place, which is the Brandy Jackson Agency. We would be honored to service you. Myself and my team of highly skilled individuals are licensed insurance agents here to help you. So we can get treated up Been thinking about you since we first met Girl, I just need a hug I think I'm falling in love with ya Hey, When push come to shove Not even the stars up above ya yeah. No You're my queen, boo I just need your heart to sing to Got the ring, bring the bling through Now it's done for the preview And you know it gotta shine like the right fit Because your love is so real I gotta wave it now Deeper, had to pull a seat up Can't move too fast, it's just our first date Boy, I just wanna know Are you willing to show your love? Me My heart won't be cold When your love take control Love me You're my king, boo I just need your heart to sing to Butterflies when I see you You're the vibe I pray for When I stay the blade, boy, yeah I need a real man Not another play Welcome back to Cigar Sessions, and we're here with Brandy Jackson. So, Brandy, um, what would you like the world to know about you? Like, that's something that I was sitting here thinking about. Like, man, she's beautiful. She has this amazing business going. Like, what is something that you want the world to know about you? Because I'm sitting here, and I'm, I'm really ready for the book. I'm ready for the book. Like, I just cannot wait to read it. feel like it's so much stuff I can not only learn but show someone else so they can learn, you know, and share your story. You know, of course, I'm going to get them to purchase it, too. But, you know. Right, right. <laughs> but, yeah, so what is something you want the world to know about you? So as you as you talk about the book, um, one of the things that I would often ask is, who wants to know my story? And a friend of mine told me, she said, your story is what's going to get a you to that next level. She yes. said, people want to hear who you are in your story. Yes. 
And um, one of the things that I want the world to know is um, I didn't I didn't grow up in this, you know, amazing, you know, just fortune family. You know, I'm a I'm a first time, you know, entrepreneur, uh, first generation entrepreneur in my family. Yes. And um, I am breaking barriers and doing things that nobody in my family has ever seen. And I truly, truly feel like my ancestors chose me to to fulfill this. And um, it's an honor. It's an honor, and um, it feels amazing to have my children to see me accomplish, you know, so many things, so you know. Things. They've seen me, you know, get um, various awards. They've seen me start several businesses and be successful in those areas. So um, being a first-generation entrepreneur, it has its, um, it's, it's, you know, it weighs a lot because a everybody's lot. Course, looking to see, course. like, I need you to be successful because... Yes. And you are taking our step? family to the next level. Yes. And so it's um it's a it's a heavy load to carry, but I'm up for the challenge. I can tell the way that you speak of it, just that alone, you know, touch me. That alone sat here and made me think like, what you mean who wanna hear your story? I wanna hear it. I need more. Yeah. But then you want me to buy the book, so I gotta wait for the book, you know? <laughs> so yeah, I'm so excited the for you. The book has a wait. lot of amazing information in tell. there because um, I not only talk about business, but I also uh-huh. share some personal things that I endured while I started oh my, my business. God. You know, um, you know, I had someone that was very close to me to die near and dear to me while I was building my independent agency. And, um, you know, I talk about it in the book because I, I want people to know I'm a real person. And that yeah. if you real life experience, yeah, yes. real life things happen when you're in business. Life doesn't yeah. stop. Yeah. Yeah. So, Brandy, uh, your book that you, uh, how long has it been since you wrote the book? Um, I started writing the book during the pandemic. I think I started around April of 2020 and we're, it's coming up on a two year mark. I would have never thought it would have taken me this long, but like they say, perfection takes time. Yes. So uh, have you published a book yet? Yes, uh, I am working with a publishing company and we're down to the last edits. So your book should be coming out pretty soon. Absolutely. Yep. Do you have a date? I do not have a specific date yet. What I want to do is, is I want to get these last edits completed. And then once everything is approved, then I'm going to drop a date. Man, it sounds great. I'll be waiting on it. Like, <laughs> but it's going to be real soon, and I would love to have you guys at my book signing because I am going to um, have a book signing. Well, I'll actually have physical copies there for Perfect. you to purchase, and it actually is already on pre-sale. So if you want to order a book and I'll okay. have it already you know, ordered, um, you can go to BeIndependentBook.com, and I have a site that's there where you can pre-order the book as well. Just don't then, forget about me after the broadcast. And, <laughs> and then for the book signing, we just pick it up there. You can just pick it okay. up there, and um, I'll be signing books. And um, I'll, I'm going to actually have a full, full um, event for it because it, it deserves that. You know, I'm, I'll be talking about some quotes that I have in the book okay. and all those things. So it's it's. It's, it's kind of like a masterpiece. I was like, man, I was like, I put my heart and soul into it. And to hear my two best friends say how amazing it is, it lets me know that it wasn't just me, man. God was with me. Like, he gave me of the course. right words to put in. For into sure. It. Yes. For sure. Yeah. He always will. Yeah. yeah. So I have a uh, million dollar question for you. Sure. There you go. <laughs> I know you don't smoke. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but dead or alive. If you could smoke a cigar, who would it, who would that person who would you like to smoke that cigar with? My daddy. Your dad. Mm-hmm. Amazing. Yep, I'm a daddy's girl. Yep. Why is that? Um, my daddy passed away in um, 2007, and um, he was one of the most significant people in my life. He was the one that molded me and created. Oh he gave me so much wisdom. He gave me um, just so many life principles. That I sit down now and I think about those principles and say, man, you know, he was such a wise person, you know, and the things that he would tell me and the things that he instilled into me, I still um, apply those to my life today. That's phenomenal. He made you a real go-getter. Yeah, he did. That is. Yeah, he did. Oh, my God. So, Crystal, I have a question for you as well. Who would you like to have a cigar with? Who would be the person you'd like to have a cigar with, dead or alive? Honestly, because I don't have anyone family-wise that smokes cigars, 
like that, you know, that's deceased. Uh, and the ones that are living, we actually already uh, have had those moments and good convos. So take it off of my family. I would literally choose Beyonce. Not because I'm a Beyonce fan, because I was going to say Jay-Z. <laughs> But to take it away from Jay-Z, I will put it on a woman because I'm a woman and we could understand each other. Let's have a combo. Let's see. For sure. You know, how can you help me? Or not only help me, how can you give me something positive, something motivating? And we sit here and smoke this cigar, talk about it, and it can help me get somewhere. I can help you. You know, even though you're sitting there like, girl, how you gonna help Beyonce? You never know any kind of word of encouragement or a word of um, just wisdom or anything can help someone. So yeah, and I chose her only because I saw so many videos with her smoking and it was like her saying things that was on our mind. Yeah, and I think that Times that I sit there and smoke, it's like it's so much on my mind. And I'm like, who else is feeling like this? Who else has so much to deliver in this it's, moment? It's so when I see relaxing. you guys smoking, it, it, it's like a, a thinker. It's like it, yes. you, you sit and you're, you're smoking and you're, thinking. and you're thinking it has That's your, your juices it. flowing. You. It's relaxing, and very it, relaxing. It, it, it looks like relaxing. it's very relaxing. And as you were speaking, I, I, and I like light. the question. I didn't let it go out. He said, uh, dead or alive. Uh -huh. So, you know, of course my dad was one because he's so that was, full of wisdom. That was great. But if it had to be a person that I would love to sit down and have a conversation with that's alive, mm -hmm. I would love to sit down and have a cigar with Sean P. Diddy Combs. Are you serious? That's Absolutely. amazing. I admire him. Um, I follow Diddy, him. You, you, I watch you see him. This? You hear this? <laughs> <laughs> I love me some Diddy because he, I look at his, his story. Yes. I'm a story person. I follow you from the beginning all the way to where you are now. He has been through some major life losses. Yes. He has um, overcame so many things that he literally started from the bottom. He did. And worked his way up. And I look at him now and I say, wow, man, it's amazing to see how he has grown as a person. How he's grown as a business person. As a business person. And he is so full of wisdom. Yeah. I watch him. Like, he gets on. He'll do lives. Speak he'll, very he'll, well. Yes. Clear. Yeah. And he's so... Uh, motivational, yeah, inspiration. I love that he makes me. He he motivates me. Yeah, so he's definitely somebody that I would love to. If if we, if I had a you know an opportunity, I would love to sit down and have a conversation with him over Did a cigar. He? Hello, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. <laughs> it's amazing because uh, on the last show we also had that same comment about um, uh, people that was out there that was doing really great and and was thinkers and. Mm -hmm. And things like that, and people pick people like what you just picked. Absolutely, that's good. Yeah, yeah. that's good. That's you know, and he's he's relatable. You know, yeah. Um, you know, I could say, oh yeah, I would love to sit down and have a conversation with Oprah. You know, because she's full of wisdom as well. But I feel like I'm more relatable to Diddy. You know, because you have to, you know, he, that you're relatable he to. yeah, he he started literally from the bottom, and I seen him work his way up and yeah. and just you know become a very successful business person. What could be more motivated? Absolutely. Okay, so act like nobody else is here. Girl talk. Mm -hmm. Are you dating? Are you single? Because I'm sitting there like, man, this girl is gorgeous. Like, what's up? What is the deal? Are you dating? Are you single? Because guess what? I already know <sighs> it's going to be plenty of people hitting me up. Like, who is, who is she? <laughs> Let us know. Oh, let me get my wine for this. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm like, let me drink. What's going on? <laughs> so um, currently I am dating. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not married. Um, okay. I will say being a business professional woman and um, when you get a certain age, it becomes difficult. Um, and I'll say from a standpoint, because it, when you're younger, it's easier to grow with someone. It's easier to overcome things and, you know, just kind of excuse a lot of things. But as you get older, no way. It's, you know, I'll be honest with you. Um, the the projects you can't take on at this point, yeah. you know, you get over 40, 
you know, it, it becomes to a point to where who can I get with that's like-minded, that we value the same thing, yeah. and, you know, we can build together at this point. Yeah. So um, it's not as easy. I'll say that, you know, and I, I tell people all the time in Houston, the dating scene is not as easy as you think it is, you know? I hear that a lot, you know? So um, it's it's um, it's okay. I, I'll say that, but um, I do desire to be married. Okay. I do want to be married. Yeah, I hear that. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just right waiting on the right partner. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you answered that because I'm like, this girl is gorgeous. Like, what's going on? Yeah. I know they're going to be asking. I'm glad you felt You know, and sometimes, you know, when you're a woman, uh, when you're a leader, um, you're a woman that's in power, it, yeah. it somewhat intimidates, you know, people or, you know, guys or whatever. So Why is um, it like that? I like, know. Oh I know God. because, you know, of course... I, I'm a leader. I'm a woman in power. But, you know, when it comes to dating and in relationships and, you know, when I do get married, I have girlfriends that are already married. My best friend's been married for 10 years. She always tells me, just make sure you know how to turn it off. Yes. You know, just make sure when you get home that cape comes off and you are a wife. Yes. You know, and I've seen a, a great example. You know, my mom and my dad, they were together for years. And I've seen a great example of a husband and a wife, you know, growing up. So um, I think whenever time the time comes, I'll be ready. Okay. So what is it that you're looking for? <laughs> Even in the dating phase, mm -hmm. what is it that you're looking for? If you had to name three top things, what would it be? Um, three top things. Of course, you know, I have children, so my son is is a big part of my life. Yes. Um, he lost his dad in 2019, so it would definitely have to be someone that is, you know, really great with kids and that, father you figure. know, a father figure, father somebody figure. that can step in yes. and, and, you know, and fulfill that role. Of course, they'll never be his dad, but at least, you know, someone that I trust to, yeah. you know, step into that role. Yeah. And, you know, someone that we value the same thing. You know, values are big. You know, oh, I've been huge. engaged before. And, you know, to be honest, it didn't follow through because we just didn't value the same thing. Yeah. And um, the third thing would have to be is um, a leader. A leader. You know, someone that I know for sure they can lead my family. Yeah. 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 I love it. That's amazing. Yeah. So you got me waiting on this book even more. Did you say something about that in the book? I do did? talk about it because, oh, it's, girl. It's, 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 you know, it's work-life balance, you know? You got to oh, have some yes. type of balance. And even in year number six, I'm still working on that because, you know, sometimes I look up, I'm like, man, you know, I haven't done anything for myself. You know, I'm oh always God, working or I'm, yeah. you know, at this event or doing this. So it's um, it's just, you know, trying to have a little balance. Yeah. And I'm, I'm working on it. I've been setting boundaries this year. You guys will be proud of me because I've been setting boundaries and saying no to certain things, you know, like I can't do it. I was saying yes to everything in the beginning, and it will wear you out. Okay. I'd like to personally thank you for coming out to the show, because you could have told us no, but it was a yes. <laughs> yes. Well, I'm truly honored to be here. So thank you guys for having me. Okay. And another thing, once again, I think I asked you this already, but I definitely want people to know, because you've literally stole my heart, my attention, all of this. I really want people to know what events that you have coming up that you would like to share or any projects? I know you said the book signing. And what else did you want to share with us? So um, the book signing is going to be coming up. That's the next event that I've been working on. You're going to keep us posted I'll with that. I'll keep you posted on that. Okay. Um, we actually hosted our first conference this year. My best friend and I, we had a conference uh, okay. here at the Hilton Americas downtown. Okay. Um, the Grace and Hustle Conference. Okay. And um, we will be doing some things as well, too. So stay tuned for that. Stay if you guys want to find us or find me, um, I'm at uh, The Insurance Diva on Instagram. The Insurance Diva. The Insurance Diva. That's my, that's, that's who I am. Okay. No <laughs> underscore, no nothing. Just The Insurance Diva. The Insurance Diva. Diva. Okay. Yes. Um, the Brandy Jackson Agency on Facebook. On Facebook. Okay. And um, if you would like to, you know, um, get in touch with me for quotes or if you just want a consultation or whatever with me, you can go to BrandyJacksonInsurance.com. BrandyJacksonInsurance.com. Yeah. 
Well, thank you so much. We were honored to have you here today. And like I said, you really stole my attention. My heart, I can't wait to read the book. I'm literally going to come back and be like, look, this I'm is I'm going to hold you to it. I'm going to make sure when we <laughs> yeah, do that book signing that I wait. reach out to you. Thank you so Absolutely. much. Absolutely. I'd like to, to be, be a part of that as well. Absolutely. <laughs> we, would, we would love that. Thank you guys so much for having me today. It was truly an honor. Okay. And it was an honor for you to come. Thank you. We're going to bring uh, cigar sessions to a close. Thank you. Well, thank you guys for coming out. And, uh. Well, man, Brandy got to give our girl toast. I know. Cheers. Cigar sessions. We're going to bring cigar sessions to a close. I want to thank our special guests and the audience. And you have a blessed day. Of a yellow dime, operate the grind from a sip and some lemon lime. Whip game got me feeling like I need another shine. Bullshit, you can say that for another time. Double up the hustle, got no time for no county time. Relax and release on the cool off a of county nine. I'm stand up, you can stand that under another kind. The brand is global, so we be eating off a of butterfly. I never go fishing, but I be on the line. John Glenn with me on the cool on the other line. When you come to my town